first solo I played in the, the piece Nocturne at Allegro Scherzando was what made me really love the flute. I was really drawn to the voice of the flute. Like I was, um, I was not even aware that the flute could make such really gorgeous and pure low notes. And so that's what got me first into that. And everything else came afterwards. I, I began, began um, loving this entire sound, the musicality and the vibrato of the instrument and how it could be used as a solo instrument and also a, a accompaniment instrument. So the versatility of the entire instrument made it useful and I um, found it to be a really rewarding instrument. I do want to continue uh, serving the community. I want to give back to the community by doing a lot of recitals for especially for older populations like I want to go to retirement homes and continue playing uh, solos there so that it's just everyone just feel happy I can give my happiness towards the flute and I also um, want once when I go to college in Dallas Texas I want to restart the orchestra I started here in Portland and keep um, expanding and helping other musicians achieve their potential. I would say the sign of a good teacher is a lot of love. Um, I would say they, they care to you to a to more than just the music part of it. It's more of a personal personal um, relationship where they care about you outside of music, and they understand where you're coming from and what they what your goals are and what they um, what your other like external circumstances that affect your playing. So when I was when I going through high school, I had a lot of academics and a lot of other activities I was trying to juggle, and they really understood that. Paying for college was one of the biggest factors I looked for um, in finding a school, so having this scholarship gives me this extra like security, especially in this time of my life where like I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> so, so this means like the world to me and I'm really thankful for this organization.